All right, let's see what this is. All right, just saw a whole entire huge tub. Well, looked to be a lot of kid stuff, but let's go ahead and see if there's any just little trinkets or any little fun things to go ahead and grab. Yeah, a lot of kid stuff. We're gonna go ahead and leave that whole entire bin there for some other kids to go ahead and dig through. Some dolls, some girl stuff, some kid shoes. So nothing we need. So we're gonna go ahead and just push on and continue to hunt. Let's go ahead and back this up. We just saw a walkway. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it's filled with. Hold on one moment. Alrighty guys, so I got a little bit greedy with that one. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but I actually took all of the LED light bulbs Whoever wants the actual fixture can go ahead and probably just pop in their own bulbs. And so sure, yeah, I could have just let it sit there and someone would enjoy all the bulbs, but those are LED bulbs, those are very expensive. So I took all the bulbs and I took the entire VTEC cordless phone set. It's right back here in the box. It actually came with, I think, a couple extra receivers and that's a yeah, newer model. I think I've actually sold that same model, but without all the extra receivers for like $30. So that's a great score. Grab that whole entire thing and the LED lights. It's been a really good LED light season, I'll tell you what. We're gonna go back to Office Depot, don't worry about that. Hair is looking pretty awful in this wind, but we're feeling good. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings. Let's keep hunting. Sorry for the sun glare a little bit. We're gonna try to get that not on camera, but good news is there's a nice, uh, is that Ikea? I don't think I need that. That might be an Ikea lamp or uh, Pier 1 Imports. It's actually really clean. Nice lamp. Okay. All right. Well, oh, sorry. There he goes. There it is. We'll let that one stick around for somebody else. Again, we don't want to be too greedy now, but we want to be intriguing. Well, I know there's places that have a lot of snow, but it's sitting on 75 degrees. We need some AC today. It is warm. Am I complaining? No, I just wish I would have wore shorts. All right, I've already seen it from the other side because someone's parked over there. I'm actually gonna go this way. There's a television right here and it looks a little bit older, but still pretty thin. Make sure no one's coming down the stairs here as we creep up. Yeah, that's, you're looking like, uh, I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's probably a uh, 42 inch plasma from, I mean, it's not too thick. We're probably talking about like 2010 era, something like that. We're not gonna be greedy again. Sure, I could flip for a few dollars. Well, let me go ahead and flip around. We're gonna go ahead and run that model number. There are some older plasmas that do. Uh, the parts actually sell them the <laughs> more than the whole entire TV. Let's just go in for a closer look because it has the stand and everything. That might be some great, uh, great income. So let's let's go see what's up. Hold on. I got the TV. The thing is definitely large from 09, as we saw. So I grabbed the TV. The reason I grabbed the TV is the stand alone is going for like $75, including shipping. I know, <laughs> sometimes people love their TVs or they get them at garage sales for like 25 bucks with no stand. And then they're like, oh man, I need a stand. eBay is the only place that sells a stand from a television from 09. And so that stand, it, it goes to different models as well. So that's what you kind of try to, to get on right there, but that's a $75 stand on eBay. So I'm gonna sell that and then I'll uh, test out the television, give the television to Mr. Sleep Slot to sell for, you know, 40 bucks or something like that. All right, let's go to Office Depot, see if there's more LED lights. Security was actually coming down the pipe and I just saw them. So we're gonna double back around, go this way first and then go back. All right, we're right next to it right here. We're gonna go in for a fast look. Again, we're only gonna grab the LED ones, not the bulb lights. 
Let's see if they dropped any more today. Well, it's always worth double checking. Unfortunately, no uh, new fresh LED bulbs. And the reason I was even thinking that was because I want to retrofit my dad's garage as well. No worries. I did notice that the black tub was missing. Maybe another diver grabbed that. I typically been skipping that, but I think I'm gonna start going back there a little bit more often. It looks like they are throwing away some more scores. Well, unless someone's been out a little bit earlier, a lot of the action from yesterday in this complex last night with Jimmy and I is actually gone. Meaning that really nice patio table, those chairs where we grabbed the roller suitcase last night. Again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cruise around a little bit and see if there's any fresh product. All right, let's see what this is. This is uh, some sort of commercial uh, dump over here. Electrical stuff. That's a TV thingamabobber. Huh, a lot of electrical stuff over here. They're just dumping a lot of scrap metal. Could probably get some parts off of there. I mean, that's a TV mount. Oh, it's like a cash register. Huh, I guess they're uh, remodeling their cash register area. So that was like a mountain where the thing goes. Man, if you were a metal scrapper, that whole entire thing, uh, the one further down, if you caught that on film, was just filled with scrap metal. So they're remodeling. Did the whole grocery store shut down? What in the world, or are they remodeling? Yeah, this was an Albertsons, and it's gutted, completely gutted. Oh my goodness gracious. I probably should have uh, been a little bit more in tune to that. There could have been some product. Who knows, maybe computer monitors, or they liquidated all that stuff. You know, the checkout computer monitors? Oh goodness, wow. Because all that stuff is linked up with uh, computers. Well, if I'm over here later on, because the workers are out back right now, they'd shoot me off. But what if like computer towers and all that stuff? Eh, those might've been destroyed. Who knows, you never know. All right, crazy funny story. So. Mr. Sleeps a lot and I go back to the punching bag and I didn't realize that those sell for so much money, right? So there's a guy on, I think, Offer Up or Next Door, Craigslist, was selling it for $200. They go for about $275, brand new Century. We go back there, the advertisement that Mr. Sleepslot saw said that that particular one was filled with about 250 pounds worth of sand. And I'm like, okay, well, hey, I'll help you out, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go hook that thing. We pull up, the both of us, and I think, you know, without bragging, we're pretty strong. We couldn't move it. We couldn't even lift it two inches off the ground. I finally, I rotate it on a pivot all the way to the truck. We try again, no go. A guy is actually coming out and he's like, hey man, good score. And uh, we're like, yeah, cool man. All right, hey, can you help us out? He's like, sure, I got you guys. Three of us, three full grown men trying to lift that thing. We couldn't get that thing two inches off the ground. We rolled it back. <laughs> and decided to quit. It's way too messy and takes way too much time to pour the sand out of it unless we had a box. Might be an option, but let's go throw some discs, enjoy some pie, and then we're gonna get back to more dive. So with that all said, that had way more than 250 pounds worth of sand in it. I'm going more over 400 or more. Well, absolutely delicious pizza in the books. Now we're out doing our second half of diving for the evening or the day, I should say. Let's go. I think it was this one. Uh, so we'll go live right here with you. Or it's uh, in a couple of them. Uh, the big, yeah. So here is, what is that, a top? I think it's just a, oh, 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 Guardians of the Galaxy, the raccoons. I think that was just a top to like a bench compartment. Let's cruise over here real quick. Uh, definitely not gonna go in with the raccoons there. Okay, I don't think it was this one. So there's a really cool economic, uh, not economic, uh, air, uh, whatever that chiropractic word is 
for a really nice chair. There's a really sweet office chair right over here. Let's go take a look at it. If we have to, we'll ditch the TV and we'll grab this chair. That chair felt great on the back, I'll tell you what. And you're like, Chris, did you take it? No, I actually left it. And the reason why is I do love my chair. Now again, that felt great. Absolutely great on the back. Good to know for future chairs. But the uh, reclining, I like to kick my feet up every once in a while. And that one is a little bit harder to recline. So sometimes you gotta stick with what you know, what you love, but that felt great on the back. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch. We'll see you soon.